Hi guys, it's Dan here from Life Begins at 30, and this is my first video on picture editing. Um, the first thing you're going to need is Lightroom. It's uh, it's an app here. You can see. Um, you can download quickly from uh, the App Store from uh, Android or the uh, Apple Store, and it's free to use as well. Um, I actually pay the premium price of 9.99 because then it downloads all your pictures and you can use it on the computer, which is mostly what I'm doing but I'm going to show it here how you can do it quickly off your phone um, so once you've got the app I'll just choose a picture and um, you can see all my edits or previous edits I'll choose one that I've never edited before so this one uh, this is a sunset picture from Barcelona um, as you can see nothing's been touched of it and I'll start nice and quick so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slide down on this scroll on the right hand side um, and go to the light options but there's a one just above the light which is this is an auto edit so what, I always start with an auto edit to see what it looks like and you can see here and you hold down the picture it, um, it's just brightened up a little bit and brought the colors in into contrast um, the first thing you can look at is exposure which brings the light um, higher or lower um, I don't like my pictures too bright I like them quite low depending on what I want to do and my um, You'll look at if you want to look at my Instagram, you'll see that my um, my sunset pictures are very uh, same. They sort of have a an orange tint to it. Um, it's sort of my my thing that I like doing. Um, so I can move the contrast up and down. I like a little bit of contrast. It gives a darker tones. Um, and I always bring my highlights. The highlights bring it up, and you sort of lose all the detail in the sky. I like to bring them all the way down to the bottom every single time. You can actually click on the highlights and then click on it again, the button there, and it shows you where the highlights are. Um, so if you bring it all the way down, you can see that you don't really get much highlights in it, and that's it done. So you can see there, from the first picture, I've brought into a bit more detail. Um, for the shadows, again, click on it. Um, and click on the word shadow um, and you can see all the shadows in there so if I bring that down I like the shadows all the way up so I can see everything in the picture but that all depends on the picture that I'm trying to take and this one here is a sunset one so um, and again whites um, I dependent I click on it and I try and just get rid of all the white there and when that's gone that's it and I normally get the colors that I want and that's the same for the blacks again you can see the blacks there I like to bring it all the way up so I've got no black at all and I can see all detail in the pictures and um, you can see if you zoom in here you can bring out the black and you can sort of bring out the uh, the the colors in there however um, it does get a bit grainy but we can sort that out later on in the picture edit so that's it so far and that is everything to do with the light. Now you bring in, you press the curve button here, and you'll if you've watched any other videos on photo editing, it's uh, a thing called the S shape, which everyone seems to use. And it just brings a bit of uh, the tones in. And now, dependent on um, what type of picture I'm doing, I will change the curve, and I could add extra ones in. You can see there, but I don't actually want to on this one. I'm just gonna finish it off like that and that there to me you know is is such an improvement on the start and picture and I haven't really done anything out of my feature but it's that's taken a couple of minutes and I'm done so then I'm going to go into the colors and for my theme I like to bring up the orange a little bit and really up to about 6700 and really bring out the the, the sun the sunset colour that I like um, and then you can bring out the saturation as well so you can dampen it down but I like to put a little bit of saturation in um, I'm gonna go for 13 on this one and it brings in sort of the, the sunlight and you can bring up the vibrance as well but it, then it starts to look a little bit fake or you can take it all out so you just bring that in there and I go to my mix you can go through all the different colours here so the main colours on this is going to be yellows, oranges and blue with the sea so you can see the sky there you don't want to make it too um, fluorescent 
uh, you don't want to make it too dark or it starts um, so I like just keeping it in the middle saturation I'm going to bring it up a little bit because I do like the sky and darken the sky a little bit just a bit there just because it's the end of the, uh, the evening the sky gets a little bit darker for the light blues um, you can see this it's just the sort of change in the tones just before the blue hits the, um, just before the sky hits the sun you can just see that but if you can see that the grain starts bringing in so you've got to try and blend it so I normally keep this in the center again bringing it back down and then I go to my yellows um, I'm going to make the sun a little bit uh, more orange than it is and darker and then I can add like sort of a red sunset if I really want to or well that starts making it a little bit more light I like a little bit of a red sunset that's what I feel I like, like to make the picture look like it's gonna like I was there on that time because I take pictures and I'm like that doesn't look what I could see at the time um, and it's all about your artistic sort of view on things you can see you can brighten up a little bit there and that to me is sorted so there you go so that there is nice and quick and that is um, that's about four minutes and you can see the difference already that I've just done in the picture. Um, moving on, you can bring in the texture. So you can bring in less of a texture, sort of make it um, a, a watercolour sort of texture. Or you can bring in more uh, clarity. Um, so the boats look. Uh, you can make them blurry, make them more uh, textured. The clarity, bring that up again. You know, you, starts to be, you could start to see more a lot more features I don't like to bring these two that too far up um, and I look at the green so for this you need to sort of zoom in and you can see that the green there if you bring it up it adds the green into it um, so you can take all the green out from the green amount and something that my friend really hates me doing but I don't mind doing it because that's my pictures you bring in a white sort of vignette or a black and I like to just put a little bit of black edging round um, just to really make the centre of the picture stand out and the centre for me is always the sunset um, my sharpening and my detail uh, I think is fine for this uh, the noise reduction again zoom back into the picture you can turn down the noise reduction and it sort of just blends in that grain that you could see before and it just makes it a bit more clear I mean it's, that's more for someone's photography eye more than anything I'm sure when it's put onto Instagram it you won't be able to notice the difference and um, color noise reduction is something again you can add if you start seeing like grain in this here you can see these little dots uh, you can bring this color noise reduction it sort of takes it all out and it starts to look a bit more fancy um, and then lens profile corrections and you know I would start using this sort of stuff if you're really getting into your lenses I sometimes do it this was taken on a, um, a wider lens um, but I'm not going to go and search for it now because I don't really need to I think it looks pretty good at the moment um, and then I need to change it so I go to the cropping and what size it is and Instagram is um, five times four and then I want to move the picture so I want to keep that big ship on the left and I want the sun centralized pretty much um, and bring that in there and, and there's my picture now the next thing is is the thing that really brings out what I want so if you go to this um, at the top here this little circle selection tool press the plus sign on the top left and go to the circle I'm going to put that where the sun is and I'm going to drag it out like that. And I'm then going to bring up the exposure. So this brightens up the sun a little bit. And I want to dim down the highlights because I still want the clouds in there. And then I'm going to bring in my temp a little bit more and make it more orange. So this here, you can bring in the saturation. And then I can deepen it or I can keep it light. I'm going to keep this one light for now. Um, and I'm going to... I can move it out and there you've got the sun is really emphasized in the center of the picture um, or you can have it 
you know you can change it around you can bring it bring it out you can really bring out there um, and then but I think that's just a bit too much so I'm going to bring it down a little bit um, and maybe bring down the exposure and you know you just do it bit by bit until you're happy with it and this is me just rushing this picture but there you go from there to that and it's done and the next thing you need to do is you know straight away once you're finished uh, so this is my presets here so I'll this one's pretty decent so I'm gonna put this in create a preset and you can see my user presets beforehand. Uh, I'm going to call this Sunset. Um, I think I'm on Sunset 8 now. Done. Added. And there's my Sunset 8. So next time I have another Sunset picture, I click on this one. You know, it's all my other Sunsets. If I wanted it like that Sunset or this Sunset. But my Sunset 8 is there. That's a pretty nice picture. I'll probably end up uploading this picture onto Instagram. Um, so if you want to go and visit my Instagram, it's uh, fill that passport, um, and you can check out all my other images. But that's pretty much it. Just a nice, quick sunset picture, edited um, plainly off your mobile phone, probably in less than ten minutes. I don't actually know how long it's been, but yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'm going to continue to do these sort of um, edits on. Lightroom. I'll try and move on to the laptop and go more into it, but I just wanted to show you how quick it was to to make a nice edit and to change the photo from being plain, um, you know, colourless to something that really stands out on uh, Instagram and make your Instagram page look a little bit better. Cheers.